I mean, my king is oddly very safe in this end game. I'm just going to go here. Oh my god, I missed mate in one. <laughs> oh! Alright, oh, I forgot that he does this, of course. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna change my I'm gonna invert my order here, maybe. Hmm. How can I change the thing? Okay. I mean this is obviously pretty standard. Everybody's seen this. I've played this against Bort like 50 million times already. Bishop A6, I have rook B8. I think Bishop A6 is still correct. Activate the bishop, play rook b8, rook b4. Oh, right, but he has bishop h6 and one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only down one pawn. I can actually trade maybe or just take, maybe I just take on b2 here. Just play this end game. It's not wonderful, but it's probably playable. Thank you to Ryan Gator for the four, for the 13 months. Thanks so much to Ryan Gator. Thank you, Piyush Bahel, for the seven months. Thanks so much, Piyush Bahel. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so let's see. So he's probably going to take. I'm going to take um, and go from there. Am I good at math? Bordick's not American, but he actually, I don't know how, but he's been living in the U.S., running an academy in Florida for the last, like, two or three years. Uh, so I'm not really sure how, how because I never heard anything about, about how he got status or residency or any of that, but apparently he's been in Florida for the last, like, two or three years. Okay, A3. Uh, what's the question? Um... I hit Nigel rapidly and don't feel burnout. Does that help at all? It's great if you don't feel burnt out. That's fantastic. Mucho fantastico. Um, be careful here. What's the logical square? Queen d6 is the logical square for the queen. I'm going to put the queen here because it's just a very logical spot to be. Queen d4. Yeah, this actually maybe isn't so wonderful when all is said and done. Hopefully this doesn't blunder the game. But 94, I have queen b6 at least, so... Not, I'm not like doing great or anything, but I'm not losing. Are openings important for 1500 only your tactics? Um, openings cut all different ways. I think, I mean, I don't like this, but I'm gonna take with a pawn. I think it's the correct order, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so he trades, I take. I mean, he has a weak pawn on d5. I have a safe king. This pawn either is gonna save him the game or lose him the game. One of the two, I don't know which one. I mean, I have Rook here. Still very tricky. Very, very tricky. Knight d4 feels like a mistake. Doesn't feel right, but he does have knight c6, which makes a lot of sense. Um d4, knight c6 isn't great. Maybe just bishop b7. I have d6, I have rook b8. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yep. Yeah, but now I can go bishop d5 or even just king g8. Actually, what what's king g8 looks pretty kind of obvious. So wait. Bishop d5 is obviously a move. Hmm. I think this is a safe move. Oh my god, I blundered knight f5. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh jeez. Now I have to... Uh, now I'm going to be lucky to draw the game. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? Go here. Okay, I should still be able to draw this, but that was very poor. Yeah, triple pawns is not going to get it done, obviously. Let's go here. He'll take, I'll take, and... Oh, very, very poor. Okay, g3. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go h6. Why not just put the pawn here? Should be a draw still, but this is, I mean, terribly played by me. Should be a draw still, but very, very poor. Jeez, that was so bad. I would have won that game if I didn't go bishop. Maybe not won, but I wouldn't. I would have had a great winning chance if I didn't play bishop d5 there. I don't know what. I mean, I can obviously go f4. I don't know if it's the right move, but I'm just going to keep waiting here. Okay, I mean, I guess I just keep waiting. So I'm going to play f5 here. Fix this pawn. Just keep waiting. I'll just keep waiting. I still don't see any way for white to win here. I'll just keep waiting. I mean, you can obviously take, but I take and go, I go here. I just don't, I just don't see a way for white to win. Especially with the compromised pawn structure. The pawns weren't compromised here. Maybe he could win with a triple stack, but having taken, go here. 
still just draw. I take, I take. Over here, I'm gonna double stack, of course. Over here. I mean, it's just a draw, but I mean, I guess I'm gonna try to flag him now since he didn't take the draw. He had like 20 chances to take the draw. I mean, I don't like doing this, but I mean, I gave him a chance. I mean, I gave him a chance to make a draw. He didn't take it, so I mean, it's what it is. Very generous to blunder. Yeah, I mean, he could have made the draw. I mean, he, he, he had 20 chances to make the draw. But I guess, yeah. I love them when you do it like this. I don't like doing this. I really don't. Uh, it's just not my thing. Okay, I mean, I guess I just take and play chess. Don't even know why I'm playing like this, but I am. So, uh, let's just go here. Yeah, this looks very wrong, what I've done. But at the end of the day, it is still... It is still chess. So let's go here and take. Queen b5. Okay, let's just play an endgame. I don't know if this is a good endgame or a bad endgame, but I feel I'm in the mood to play an endgame here. So let's play an endgame and see what's going on. Actually, this maybe is not so wonderful. Let's go here, hit the bishop. I'll go f3 and rook c1, I guess. Or c2. C1. The bishop. Actually, bishop c4, I have b3, so we have to be kind of careful a little bit. We can go to a4. You know, the question is, do I go g3 or g4? I think g3 is probably a little bit safer here. The problem is with the bishop on c4, he can't actually put the knight here, which is a slight problem long term for black. I guess I'll go um, here. Here. B4. What? Wow, I'm actually getting confused. Every single move that Bortnik is playing is confusing me now. Oh, I guess he had to, because I was just, I was just going to take anyway. Very, very strange play. I also suspect I should not have taken with a C-pawn either, but it feels like Bortnik's a little bit on tilt turn. I don't really know why, but I feel like he's a touch on tilt. So let's go Rook C2. It feels like he's a little bit on tilt after that loss. I mean, I guess I understand why he's on tilt. I know B3 was a threat. Ha, 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 ha. Very funny. Yeah, again, B3 looks good. Bishop F4 looks great, actually. I'm just I'm just outplaying him. He's just losing. Much worse. I think knight E3 is just like not GG, but very, very bad for black. Maybe not GG, actually. Yeah, maybe knight E3 wasn't ideal. No, actually G3 was very much not ideal. But I'm still knight E3 was not ideal, but I'm still quite a bit better. Over here, knight C3, and it's better, but it's not it's not quite what I wanted, that's for sure. Uh, thank you to Iron Nick for the two months. Let us rejoice and save the Friday car vibes. Yeah, it is Friday, isn't it? I guess it is. I think H4 makes a lot of sense here. Try to open up the H file too here. It feels reasonably good. King G6. Okay, now I can take the Rook H2, but even... I think just Rook H2 right away. And this looks very wonderful. Feels like a wonderful time for me. Okay, that also can't possibly be right. I go check. And I have 94. I mean, 94 is good. D5 is also probably good. I mean, everything is probably good here. I kind of like 94, though, and King G4, maybe. Also go Rook H5. I mean, G4... Actually, G4 gives him Knight G6. So let's swing the Rook. And then I'm going to go King G4 next move, and... Hard to believe that I'm not much better here. I can also go Knight C3, I guess. And Rook F5, King G4... Seven, knight b5. I mean, this. Unless I'm crazy, this should be good. I can also just take on g5. I mean, even d5 looks very strong, too. Ah, rook f6. Okay, so if I take, that's no good. So let's go here. Now, nah, this looks terrible. g5 is hanging. Knight d5. I mean, everything's collapsing. This is all just losing for black, I think. 
Maybe I'm missing something, but it looks looks over to me. Oh, he's got rookie six. Actually, I missed that, of course. Here, I guess. Okay, D5 is the move I want to play. Might as well just play it. Actually, his rook is oddly trapped. I guess I go here. Somehow his rook is kind of trapped. That's very weird. And rook d6, bishop e5. Actually, knight b5 is also just good too, I think. I also have rook e1. I mean, everything's just winning here. Rook f5. Okay, rook h6 looks like a very clean, nasty way to win the game. I mean, rook a, actually, no, rook a6 and rook h6 is also clean too. That can take and GG's. And then he loses to the pin. Thank you, Olympiad, for the four months. Thank you so much to Olympiad. Okay, I'll just take the rook and, and all the weirdness. Um, he's trying to create some mate threats. I don't really understand them, but let's go G4. Go here. He has 97, but I mean, even this is just winning. Like, I mean, go here. Hey, we get the dub. Let's keep going. Three more to go. Um, I am going to play Karo Khan. Oh, oh, right. He played D4. Actually, I played it first game, and now suddenly he switches it up. Um, actually, I'm kind of surprised because he was easily drawn in the second game. A little surprised by that. Go back, trade the bishops. Is he tilted? I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Go here in 97, of course, and just castle. I guess we're both going long, right? Yeah, both go long. Both move our kings. Very stable kind of position, actually. Um, play knight b6, and maybe c5 here. That's my idea, at least. Goes knight d2. F5 is what I want to play, but I also don't want to play it. Um, hmm. Actually, knight d2 is a good move. I should have calculated that. Hmm. This is not great. I guess I'll go... Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll just go here, maybe? Not enthused by this, but it's playable. It's a game. Chess, 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 and more chess. It's just a game. Take with the h I'm very surprised he did this, actually. Because I can trade... Let's go to C7, maybe. I think I'm going to go to C7, try to keep some kind of imbalance here with these weak pawns, maybe. It's not, definitely not what the computer would recommend. But I always have knight D7 to stabilize, so I guess I'll just go back. Yeah, queen B3, I expect that. I think I can still go knight D7. I can even go king A8, but I have to be a little bit careful here. So I'm going to go king A8. I mean, maybe I should activate the rook laterally. Okay, go back over, because now I can again play knight D7. <laughs> to trade the knights or knight d5 knight f4 as well which is an interesting idea seems reasonable but i still don't know how good it really is um queen f4 maybe so let's go queen f4 let's see what his idea is because now i have f5 ideas and f2 is very weak three okay i mean i guess i have to go f5 only move now i guess i go i guess i have to go back just to be safe Try to trade some knights off, I guess. Not thrilled by this, but it's playable at least. Maybe I should have gone knight d5, f6, kept the knights on the board and played for more. Yeah, I should have gone knight d5. Knight d7 was not a good move. Because now it's going to be very hard to win the game. Oh, wait, I actually have queen h2, I just realized. There's some weird queen h2 tricks. Bound in this position? Probably not. g5, maybe? very poor i'm gonna go b6 try to create complications this definitely is not right but it's worth a shot okay i'll go c5 takes he loses the rook and now i can also take my rook guards some tricks here maybe some tricks maybe a very slight end game advantage possibly not much but maybe something am i in tournament shape i thought you were gonna play a steel tournament i no i was not invited but as i said even if i had been invited to the tournament it still would not have happened because I would have gotten COVID in Poland, and I would have withdrawn. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's all kind of relative. Yeah, it's, it's what it is. But anyway. So, yeah, that's life. That's how it goes. 
Okay, I'm trying to take for e3. I can play queen h2. Wait, queen h2 and queen g1? Looks like an idea. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to sneak the queen in behind the enemy army here. Trying to sneak it in. Chuck? Wait, Chuck? And then I take... And now it's, I mean, very scary because I have rook b8. This looks extremely scary. I might just be winning here. Maybe not winning, but... I think white's in serious trouble. Like, serious, serious trouble here. I realize I also can take g2, I just realized, which... Ooh, tough, tough position. Okay, so if I take g2, he has to trade. I mean, so let's just take. I mean, my king is oddly very safe in this end game. I'm just going to go here. Oh my god, I missed mate in one. <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, dude! Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> dude! Dude! Um, I mean, he must realize, I'm sure he realizes now that he missed it. Um, oh my gosh. So bad. So, so bad. These GMs know, I mean, I'm a little bit lucky. That was terrible, but by both of us, that was just awful. We both should quit chess after that. That was so bad. Okay. So let's just take, let's go here. I bet he realizes now. I'm sure he realizes now. I'm sure. I'm sure that he realizes now. He's like. He's like. What. What on earth was that? Because again, it's like it's the classic blindness syndrome. You. You never expect your opponent to like make that blunder. That's the thing. It's just one of those things. Okay. Um. I think I can castle here. Yeah. Let's just go. Knight c3 back. Queen e2 and b3 maybe. Okay, I, actually, I can't play b3. Wait, I kind of bungled this, maybe? No, this is still okay. Because I can take and go b3. He plays f5. That's not a great move. I'm going to take and go knight e5 here, I guess. Knight e5, of course. Try to box him in on the... on the uh, takes. Wait, wait a second. Oh, maybe I did just wonder. I did actually just wonder. So let's take... Take knight c4. I have check. Block and take. Of course, I take so I can take. Running checkmate in one. I don't know if I'm actually doing great here. I have knight a4 maybe. This takes his mate in one. It's not great, but I think I'm better. Very, very slightly better. But very, very slightly better here. It's gonna be very hard to win this though. Knight b6 is the obvious move. I think I try to run the A pawn up the board maybe. Or rookie one, rookie six is an idea as well. It was rookie eight, which I think is a good move. I think rookie one, gotta take the file here. Finds bishop a6, another very, very good move by Bortnik. So while I think he's a little bit tilted, he's still finding some excellent moves. I mean, he's definitely a little bit tilted, but he's still finding some excellent moves in this game. They could have very easily lost this game. Okay, goes knight c4, however. It strikes me as a touch odd. Might not be losing, but it feels kind of wrong somehow. Maybe I just go a4 gonna go a4 here and of course i blunder right on cue oh so bad just so bad by me and i don't even have a move to keep the game going yeah all right i'm just gonna force a draw all right this obviously is a draw i don't even know why he's playing on here He's probably just annoyed. I mean, this is obviously just a draw, but. Yeah, all right. So again, play like one more. So bad by me. If I don't go A4, I think I would have found a way to win that. Uh, 
Uh, okay, we'll play d5 too. Okay, he wants to do the same line. Okay, I think I'll just go knight c6. Oh, I'm supposed to go bishop g4 in one move. Rook c8, I guess I just take. I have bishop d6 maybe. Very standard Karo Khan here, actually. Maybe queen b6 next move, maybe not. I'm getting outclassed. Oh, thank you, Alham. Wait, no, no, that's not actually Alham. Never mind. I thought that was Alham at first. I was like, wait a second, dude. Um, but that's not Alham. No, I mean I'm doing okay. It's not not like the dream or anything, but it's not like terrible either. Yeah, I could have gone Queen C7 first to force Rook C1. I still feel like there should be um to go here and target this pawn i know this is right let's go here target the pawn go here target the pawn i'm gonna go here and reroute the pony again it's not like this is winning or anything but it is a little bit unpleasant for white i think <laughs> class and winning are not mutually exclusive also true yeah yeah yeah, reverse colors black and white are now white and black. Doesn't sound reverse perspective. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. But right, he goes queen f3. So, I mean, I guess he's going to try some knight h5. I mean, I don't really believe it. Somehow I don't believe it. I mean, he's basically trying to go all in on the king's side. And I'm going to basically try to meet him at the pass. Okay, I guess I'll go queen d8. But I have g6 and knight f5 and queen f8. And queen f8, although I blundered knight f6 d7. Oh, a little bit lucky. I made a blunder here, but I'm still in the game. Oh, also, why, why did I play knight e4? Knight e4 was such an obvious move here. I can also go queen f6, maybe. Queen f6 and target the knight. I feel like I'm better here somehow, but I have to prove it still. He's just going easy on you. He could double dot me. Yeah, okay. Now I know you're a troll. It was, fun it was funny for the first, like, 10 seconds. Um, and I have knight d5, I have queen d8. I actually missed knight d5, but I'm a little bit lucky, as always, that I have some magic, magic idea. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say, Bordnik has gotten worse, and I'm not really sure why, but I feel like he's definitely gotten significantly worse um, than he used to be, and I, I don't really understand why. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I don't know why he's gotten worse at Blitz. Because I mean it's not like he he's not like he got old or anything, obviously. But he's definitely he's definitely worse than he used to be, and I don't really know why. Maybe he's focusing on longer chess. Maybe, yeah, it's definitely possible that there's that. I, I don't really know. I, I don't know. It's he's married? <laughs> okay. Um that shouldn't change anything either, obviously. He finds queen c1. That's the only decent move. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put maximum pressure here. I have to just be a little... He's got 33 seconds, I just realized. Like, I mean, I guess like I can just go h6 even. Yeah, I expect that. I'm going to go here. Go here. Still not trading the queens. I guess. Wait, now? No, I'm still not in time. Hmm. Let's go here. Now I just take and I have rook b1, and that's GG's. Take. Okay, much better. One more. Let's play e4. If you get divorced, do you lose half your rating? That's not a question I'm going to even answer. Feels like a way to walk into something, uh, something politically incorrect for no good reason. That really feels like a good, um, good way to walk into a, a very bad situation. Castle here. Go here. Already trending on Twitter. Good one. Yeah. Okay, this is a dream, by the way. This is just much better for white. I, I learned this back when I was much younger. 
Okay, I can take on f6 if I want to. I don't have to. I mean, bishop a3 is actually supposed to be very scary for black. Or we work c1, target the pawn again. This is why I'd be a good politician. You know when you, you, you know when not to answer if you get in trouble. Okay. I I don't think that's a compliment, by the way. Oh wait, I have knight g5 maybe. Yeah, I think this is very strong here because I just take. I don't think that's a compliment, by the way. Being a politician in this day and age is not what you're. Is not a good aspiration in life. IMO. In my opinion, at least, it's just not. That's not what you're. You should aspire to in life. There was a time when that meant something quite different. Okay, so I give up a pawn. Knight g4 is his trick. I take. I'm gonna take. Because e6 is super soft. And now I'm gonna go h3, stop knight g4, e3. So he can't plop the knight here. But he does get e5, and I feel like a total mower on anyway. Um I do have knight e4 maybe and knight d6. I guess this is okay. Um so I'm gonna get c5 or something, but I missed the boat. I should have gone rookie one and just taken the juicer. Why, why did I do this actually? Very, very stupid of me. I think Queen E2 is even very strong. Yeah, Queen E2 is just much better. Wow, he sees it. That's amazing. Um, now I have to come up with some serious moves. He's, he found some really, really good moves. It's a very, very important move. Now, I can play rookie one. I can also go h4, h5. I think h4 is kind of interesting. Actually good, though. 5, h4, f4. Oh, let's just go for it. I'm going to play h4 next move. h4 I have h5 he takes I just take of course f4 maybe I have h5 h6 maybe not sure if it's good but it's an idea stream for six hours yeah you guys we've been through this before I generally do stream for pretty long periods of time so um yeah it's what it is it is it it is it it is what it is okay so he takes I'm very surprised by that um I'm gonna assume that I probably put the rook I don't know if this is right but I feel like somehow I need to stack uh, I guess I go here in ninety six, and then rook at rook e eight. Maybe the rook was better on e one. I'm not actually sure in this position. I think I'm gonna actually look to sack. Maybe I'm gonna look to sack for the pawn. He goes a four. I don't really understand that because I thought I'd knight b seven or something here. But even just b four looks fine, but maybe just this makes sense. Because now the bishop targets the pawn, I have knight d6, I have b4, b5. Everything's kind of harmonious for me in this position. Relatively speaking, of course. Feels pretty harmonious, but I could be wrong on that. Getting low on time, too. Seven. Uh, now I can sack, maybe. This is kind of interesting. Do I want to sack or not? To be or not to be? No, I think I'm just going to go b4. Oh, that was a mistake because I gave bishop f5, of course. Of course, I just had to throw. So here in rookie four, maybe. Yeah, I guess I'll go here. I'm gonna go rookie eight, maybe. I'm trying to be really tricky here. So here, trying to be really, really tricky. I mean, if he has to go rook d8, I mean. But then I'll just take. I have queen e6 and bishop d4. I can take. Knight h4. I saw that as a move. I thought I had some trick, but maybe I'm insane. No, maybe I'm just insane. Oh, wait, no, I have rookie one. h6, bishop e7, maybe? Now I can obviously check on e8. Now my pawn is just run it's a runaway freight train. I just have two past pawns. Yeah, I just it's just a runaway freight train, I think. Go here. And he can't do anything I take, and I can even just block. Back. That can make a queen. 
Okay, another win. Let's keep going. Three more to go. Back to basics. So let's go C6. I'm going to play E5 here. I think I played this against Bornik recently, actually. Like, some, like, Fianchitos. I play against the weak square. I guess he has to go G5. Oh, he takes. Interesting. Doesn't look right somehow, but I need to be careful. I do have bishop h6. I do have queen f6. I do have knight d4. So many options. So, so, so little time to figure out which which one's right. My instinct says knight f4. My instinct. My instinct says knight f4 is right, so I'm going to play knight f4. Just trust my instinct here. I mean, I guess I just take. I mean, I always have queen f6. He goes d4. I expected that. But again, I'm not so worried. I think I just develop and play like knight f6 next move. Maybe in a little bit, a little bit of a tough spot just because my king can't castle. But again, overall, I do like my position here. I always have g5 as well, maybe. If he goes bishop g2, I can maybe trade and maybe go g5. Try to get greedy and keep the extra pawn on the board. I don't like king b1 at all. Okay, he does have some knight g2 trick, I guess. So what? But just so what? Nobody cares. I just go knight f6 and bishop d7, I just take... Oh, or did I just blunder? I might have just made a fairly serious mistake. Take and I take. Because bishop d7, I take and it's checkmate in one. Actually, wait, it's mate in one. He probably thought he had the fossil with bishop d7, but then I take and he gets mated. So it's a classic call the ambulance, but not for me. Queen a3 feels like a good move. Um, feels like a pretty... Wait, wait a second. But I can take and also take e2. Wait a second. Wait a second. I know this isn't right, but I have to find the exact reason why. Bishop f8 is option one. Oh, wait. Rook h3, he has queen h3. So that's why that doesn't work. I know this doesn't work. I just, I just have to work it out. I'm down a lot of time. That shouldn't really be a problem yet. Let's go here. I'm going to go queen b3, and then I have to come up with a move. Probably I'll go bishop c5. Or bishop e7. Still very tricky. Trying to work this out. Just queen d3. I mean, I guess this must be the right move. Right, but that doesn't do anything, so I just take and go here. I think he forgot that I, I guard the rook. I think he just missed this. And now it's very much a game once again. Very much a game. And I think I'm just better, in fact. Because now I'm up two pawns. I'm uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. So I'm up dos, uh, dos juicers. Um, and I'm just going to win the game, I think. He missed this. He just missed this idea. Now I go rook d8, of course. Hit the queen, and I just trade, and he loses the knight. And it's just a disaster. Disaster town for uh, for Bortnik. Thank you to Navari for the two. Thank you, Dan Tab, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Should be pretty good here. Should be just winning. Knight d4. Okay, so I can obviously take on e1. I mean, that seems like the cleanest way to win. Or wait, I can take and go bishop f6. Wait. I mean, that should also be pretty easy. Yeah, I just go here. I mean, rook e4, and I'm just going to trade and go g5. I mean... Yeah, I mean, this has to be going to just rook h2. Go here and... Yeah, G4, and I just go here. Yeah. Okay. Good attempt by Bortnik. Um, okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's play the same line. I got a good position last game, so let's keep going with it. Seems to be working pretty well. Actually, I should not have done this. The knight's supposed to be on C3 in this line. Hmm.
castle. We go here, so I have bishop e3 maybe. Actually, I feel like I've had this against Bortnik, oddly enough, like many times. Exact position. So he takes, I take, I'm going to go f5 here. I mean, if bishop c5, I play bishop e3. I mean, maybe knight h5 is a threat at some point. I probably should go c3 to consolidate the knight as well. Pending. Uh, didn't Bornick is uh he is male. He is he is male. He is a male, not a female. Um not sure why you're saying that, but anyway. Um very weird. Okay, let's go here, hit the hit the queen. Okay, so now I think c3 is a move. I think maybe rook b1 also. But okay, c3 should be decent. Oh, but I gave him f6. He doesn't do it. He plays f5. Feels a touch dubioso to me. Just a touch. Just a touch dubioso. Um, how do I do this actually? Knight h5 is an idea. I think I'm just gonna move my king. Try to try to play this like a proper grandmaster. No super funky stuff. Just simple good chess. Because he created this big weakness that he never should have created on e6. F6 was the right move. Uh, dubioso sounds like a sounds like a Wingardium dubioso. Yeah, exactly. Let's go rook b2. Yeah. Now I can take, and now he has problems with knight e6 and knight c6. And my king also is no longer check when he captures. This is kind of scary. Kind of scary. He plays rook e8. I do b4, which is kind of interesting. I actually want to see what happens, so I'm going to play it. I want to see what happens here, because this is a very unusual position. And he can't move away, because then I just take and I guard. So he's going to have to take. Wingardium Dubioso. I like that. Wingardium Dubioso is a good one. Uh, but it feels very dubioso for sure um is this a smurf account no it's not Alexander Bortnik's smurf account I don't know what you're saying I, I mean I, I don't know what you guys are talking about it takes I take back of course if c3 I just go rook b3 and I'm just winning the pawn Baby. This is definitely not the real Bortnik. No, this is Bortnik. I don't know why you guys are acting like it's not. Like, why are you guys acting like this isn't Bortnik? It totally is Bortnik. I mean, if this wasn't Bortnik, the account would get banned for sharing or, or something. No, this is Bortnik. No, this is totally Bornick. This Queen C7, reasonable choice. Um, actually, Queen C7 is probably a very good move. Again, more proof that this actually is Bornick. Okay, I'm gonna play A3, consolidate the pawn chain. But he's got 20 seconds. Like, oh, he's even streaming. Yeah, yeah, he's even streaming. No, I mean, come on, stop being super weird, you guys. Go here. Um, that's actually a good move right here. I feel like they're tactics somehow. Let's just go for it. He's got no time. Although, actually, I've misplayed this quite poorly. Oh my god, what was that? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I threw it. That's one of the worst games I've ever thrown. I'm going to be honest. I think it's stream safe for the two. I threw that so badly. That's probably one of the worst throws I've actually had in a while. Yeah, that's going to be the last game that I play. Because that was really poor. Yeah, that, that's one of the worst throws I've had in a long time. Over here in trade. That's that's probably the worst throw I've had. Unlucky draw. No, I mean, I deserve it. Because I was completely winning. And then when he got really low, I, I tried to cheese him. I just blundered. Um, 
Uh, that that I, I deserve I deserve the draw there. I, I totally threw that. And for all those people who are acting like he's some kind of like some kind of smurf or something, that that alone proves that he's not. So please don't keep suggesting that. Okay, so he's gonna play knight d2, and I think queen e7 is what I played before. Yeah. I don't know why everybody keeps acting like this is Botez. Like it's very annoying. Uh, let's just go here. Okay, so a3. Um, feel about five maybe. Actually, why didn't I guess it's different now because the h2 is hanging maybe. Unclear. I can obviously go knight seven. I mean, the question is, can I grab the pawn? I mean, it's somewhat scary. But you know what? I kind of feel like doing it just to see. I just want to see if, if this works or not. It probably doesn't work. I'm going to bring the queen back to like e7, of course. I also have knight d7 if he doesn't go queen b3, so this is fine. He plays a4, which I think is a mistake. So now I go knight d7, and now I think he's just in trouble. Now, I mean, now I should just be fine. I go like queen d6, queen c7, and I mean, it's hard to believe. I'll go h5, h4 now, even. I think this is fine. I have queen c7. It's bishop a6, which I completely forgot about. But I do have maybe queen b6, trade a b6, knight 7 I think this is okay. I'm gonna go for this. I have queen b6 takes and rook g8 and king c7. And Bornick likes to take a lot of timers. So he's gonna use his time. Thank you to Pepsi Kadiko for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. He goes knight c4, so he actually doesn't do it. So now I go h4, I go rook h4, and rook f4, and I mean, I think this is just lost for white, basically. I don't really see anything he can do here. Uh, I just trade. And I think it's game over. 7 to 1 and no point gain? Yeah, welcome to my world. Welcome to my special world of, of suffering. Probably the last one that I play. Um... I'm going to take, okay, I mean, obviously I'm better here. It's just a matter of how to prove it. C5 and F4 makes a lot of sense here. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it's right. I think I can take and play F4. Maybe I'm insane, but I think this is okay. I mean, he has to take, otherwise it's just lost. I have Rook H3. I mean, I can also take Rook H3, I assume, is winning, although I'm honestly not sure. Whatever, I'm still going to do it. He can take, and I'll take, and I'll take. And I I mean, maybe this isn't winning, but it feels like it should be winning. Uh, the worst case, I'm probably getting too connected. And he's got 30 seconds. So if I can't win this, well, that's my own fault for being bad at chess. Of course, somehow I actually did miss something. If I go here. He's going to take on very very poor play by me i guess i'll just go here well that's a big blunder okay now now i should win i got exactly what i was hoping for with the queen of the pawns hmm actually wait what the heck just there i mean i obviously have queen e2 i guess i go here don't I have F3 or something? Wait. This is very dangerous what I'm doing. That feels wrong. I go here. I think I have F3, F2. I should be winning. Wait, is it actually winning? Wait a second. I mean, if, if I don't walk into a repetition, I win the game.
Okay, so I can create a double queen situation. And now I just blundered again. Unbelievable. And I just make another queen. I'm lucky. I just nearly blundered this. Yeah, very, very poor. Okay, one more. Yeah, I missed so many wins that game. One more. Just one more. That's it. Can we do is just winning? I think everything was just winning. I missed so many things there that I should be ashamed of myself about. It goes A5. Let's go here. It does go C4 anyway. Now, I can obviously take if I want to. It's a playable line, but I think I'm just going to go D4. don't know if it's right. Now, I'll play B3 here. Takes me to Knight C5. Knight C5. I don't know what's going on here. Feels a little bit weird. I mean, I do have knight d4 here, I thought. Knight c5, I take. I mean, I'm going to go g4 and just attack on the king side, too. This is probably terrible, by the way, for people who are wondering. Don't do this at home. I'm trying to take the pawn and mess up his structure. I go here. I mean, if I get takes in F5, I mean, I feel like I'm smashing through somehow. It goes King H8. I go here. I target this one. If he takes, I take this one. And then I feel like they're... I take this one. I think this is very dangerous for Black. Not 100% sure, but I think it's quite dangerous. Feels very dangerous, at least. Let's see, it goes bishop e5, so I go queen a3, target on the diagonal. This pin is a big problem now as well. I also had a4, which I missed. a4, I think, was just missed the game. Ugh. That was just a4, was just winning on the spot. Yeah, it goes queen f8. Now it's like not easy at all to win. I guess I'll take. Oh, he takes with a G pawn. I'm actually a little surprised by that. Oh, wait. Now I have b4. Wait a second. b4 knight here takes. F7. Knight g5. Trade. I feel like I have something here. I definitely feel like there's something. Maybe I just go king h1. I think I'm just gonna go here and rook g1 because 94 I always just trade. Oh, and of course I blunder this too. Wait, but I do have rook g1 maybe. I guess I have to take this one. Now I'm pretty unhappy with everything. I guess this. And I guess I go here, force a trade. Those problems though, because e6 is still a weakness. Was knight of five a move? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely possible. It was definitely possible. So it goes rookie eight. Uh, I do have queen a seven here. I mean, I, I should be winning. I just need to not lose my mind. Here. If I have queen a7 and queen f7, that's my idea at least. Push buff one, I go rook g1 as well. I don't actually see the win for black. So, oh, he goes rook g8. Wait a second. Maybe I just trade and go queen e7. Because now I have queen e8 and knight e6, which is basically gg. And he doesn't have any moves in between. I think this is gg. I guess I just take and take. And now knight d4, and I mean, this must be winning. Actually, no, let's take this one. 
come back and now b4 b5 again we're getting the wide peoples again the pawns are kind of splitting now i think this is just winning or is it wait no maybe not no i should actually just not just mess this up yeah all right we got the dub it's going Uh, let's go e5 actually i said last one didn't i what what, what what's wrong with me uh, i guess i'll go yeah i said i said one more and it's just like yeah one more is more like 20 more isn't it so here i just castle next move as long as i didn't just blunder some bishop c5 which i very well might that was a slip right that must have been a mouse slip but the funny thing is because it's a bond cloud it's not actually that bad for white it's an accidental bond cloud by Bortnik the thing is because of the position it's actually not that easy okay takes I think g3 bishop g2 is just better he's laughing yeah no he just misclicked he meant to go bishop e2 he misclicked and now he gets a bond cloud funny thing is again this is not actually just outright loss so you should kind of keep playing and be serious yeah, like is this not actually just just like an easy it's not easy for me to prove this that's what's funny it's not easy to prove at all in fact um but you know what it is it is a bond cloud so i might as well just play b5 and be very aggressive here Yeah, he, he kind of has to do something. Okay, he goes there. I mean, I can obviously take the pawn. I kind of want to go bishop e6 or something, but bishop a6, bishop e6, b3, takes b4. Yeah, actually, I think this makes sense to go here. Maybe not. Huh. What's he gonna do actually? I'm not so sure. How to miss click you meant to move king e2. Thank you to Dequibit for the 11 weight th. Thank you to M Pigeon. Thank you to the Loper. Thank you to Boren Chris for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep going. Um okay, take. Yes, okay, it goes there, but now I go back and I still have bishop a6, I thought. Maybe it's nothing special. Actually, it's really nothing special. This is just a game again. Maybe. Maybe not. Still probably quite bad for white because knight b6 is a serious problem i don't see how he deals with it exactly i mean king f3 traps the knight we can't get out of it that way this just looks kind of ugly kind of really ugly for he goes there so i go here of course and i have b5 again same same thing um i also have h6 here just to remove the knight I go b5 he does have queen b3 b4 or something I should just kick the kick the knight out of town first then go like knight e7 knight c5 he takes I just take the knight go back and I have b5 or I think just knight e7 knight c5 just cleanly winning here I think I just go here in 96 and knight knight of four or d4 classic Swiss cheese here for my opponent uh, I did allow this which I shouldn't have but still um now the question is do I throw in the check and I think I should throw in the check and then push about six here I mean again terrible placement here all those pieces are awfully placed that's what happens when you play the bond cloud bad things happen uh I think I'll just go here hit the pawn on c4 hit this diagonal too go here I mean this knight yeah there should be some way to win I mean I can obviously take on c4 but I don't want to win like that so let's try to win in style with g5 g4 instead but I'm pretty sure almost anything I do here is winning and it's just winning I have 92 and queen f2 yeah boom goes the dynamite Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs>